can't report him, not until you've heard the full story. And that's going to excuse physically accosting a patient, is it? He was provoked. This is our Uncle Benny. There is a lot of family history, and it's all a bit raw. Yeah, well, I don't care if it's Attila the Hun reincarnated. Doctors get provoked every day. There is always someone ready to have a go. I mean, how the hell did you get through an ED shift on a Saturday night? Well, it's different when it's family. He's always had a hot temper. Words used to come out of his mouth when he was a kid. <laughs> Never heard anything like it. Right, come on, I think visiting hours are over. Well and truly. I'll speak to you tomorrow. What is wrong with you? Do you actually want to lose your job? Of course not. Then don't let Benny drag you down to his level. Because if you do, he will win. He's already winning. He's getting away with murder. Not a figure of speech, in case you're wondering. Oh, great. Why don't you get some more patients talking about how crazy you are? That's a really good move. I don't know what to do. No, neither do I. This is all just too much at the moment, but we need to call it. Especially you. Just chill, OK? Hey, how are you? How do you think? Why are you even here? Because we both want to get you out of this place. I'm starting to wish you'd never even bothered with me. But you wanted something, didn't you? Maybe we should leave this for a while. Good, eh? See us. Or not. Oh, please, Dad. We both want to be here for you now. We just need to find someone that knows the truth about the robbery. So can you think back to then? Come up with some names, like other mates of Benny's or girlfriends? And what? Are you going to head down south and mess with the crims and the riffraff of Dunedin? I don't think so. It's what you wanted Harper to do, following your footsteps. Watch it, you. Look, I appreciate the thought. You've got your doctoring to get on with. And you too, if you manage to stick at it. I haven't got long to go, OK? Let's just leave things be. Look, you can't just cave. This isn't you. Well, I'll stir things up and set Benny off. Someone's going to get hurt. I'll see out my time. And you get to feel that little bit more guilty about what you did to me. You said 10 o'clock. Yeah, it's 10 past. Look, I'm due in theatre for an emergency cholecystectomy, and I'm going to be busy all day now. But I want to get this sorted. So can you come back at 5 for a disciplinary meeting? I've asked Chris to be there too. Sure. Enjoy your day off. May as well clear out my locker now. Or you could go into that meeting and fight. Boyd and Chris are reasonable guys. They'll both listen to what you have to say. And what if I shouldn't be here? What if I'm not cut out to be a doctor? That little voice in your head telling you that, does that sound anything like our dad? What if he's right? If you're here to have another go about Benny, you're wasting your time. Please, Dad. If you won't do it for yourself, then do it for Garrett. This whole thing is tearing him apart. Might be good for him. Might be character building. Do you want to know what's good for him? Being a doctor. And everything he's done for you in the past few days has put that at risk. I hope you realise that. His choice. Because he cares about you. How much did he care about me 15 years ago? When Garrett was a kid, he idolised you. Do you have any idea what it's done to him, Dad? To... What? To snitch on his old man? I thought he was telling the truth. And that makes it all right. You want to talk about family loyalty? If you really must know, Garrett did it for me. To get you out of my life, because that is what I needed. Hey? And I'm sorry if that is hard for you to hear, but it's the truth. And Garrett has been beating himself up about it ever since. Just because you had some issues with your old man doesn't make what he did right. That guilt's deserved. And does he deserve to lose his career, too? What do you mean about? He's this close to being fired, and he's not going to fight for it because he thinks that's what he deserves. So you want to talk about family loyalty? Who's your real family dad? Uncle Benny? He's not even a blood relation. Yeah, and he won't think twice about doing me in. That's the bit you don't seem to have grasped. The justice system will protect you. <laughs> well done. He said that with a straight face. No, you won't be alone. I'll be with you all the way. And so will Garrett. Your sister's been tuning my ear, pleading your case. She should have been a lawyer. Yeah, you would have loved that. Next time they let me out of here, when they let me out of here for good, I want to see my kids. And I want my kids to want to see me. I'll be there. We both will. How could you see what I couldn't? What do you mean? Dr. Harper Willie. I never thought she had a hope in hell, but now look at her. <laughs> both of you. Well, I'm not in Harper's league. Hey, you're on your way. I'm proud of you. Harper told me why you did what you did. My father needs to hear that. But then, I wasn't much of a father.
father, was I? I didn't feel like much of a son. I forgive you, son. If it was only one incident, I would have given you a warning and walked away. But it's this whole pattern of unacceptable behavior. Started an ED, you brought the same bad attitude to the surgical department. Rudeness, lateness, sick days when you're not sick. I mean, even when you are here, it's like you're somewhere else. It can't go on. I know I've screwed up. I'm... There's been some heavy family stuff going on, but it's no excuse. I've let myself down. The last few days I've been thinking, who am I kidding? What's the point? When you hauled me in here this morning, I was ready to chuck it in. Why? Because I don't want to be this half-assed doctor you guys think I am. So, seems to me you have two choices. Get the hell out, or smarten up. What's it gonna be? Yeah, it's still your decision. Any more bad behavior, and it won't be. Well, I want to stay. And what's changed since this morning? I got a good talking to. From Harper? She believes in you. You're lucky her opinion carries some weight around here. I'll be watching you. I want to see commitment, professionalism. I don't want to see the jumped-up party boy who rolled into Shortland Street acting like the world owed him a living. OK, I think we're done here. Thank you. Thank you. Couldn't let me go. They love me too much. <laughs> <laughs>